this is my Titanic, and this is the side of its wreck. And today, I found myself in the Bermuda Triangle. Finding myself in the middle of a disaster, my main goal will be to find rescue. This could be a passing ship, a helicopter, as well as rescuers, whom we can wait for many years. So we definitely have to survive, explore an inhabited tropical islands, and build our own shelter. In this world, which my team has prepared, there are a huge number of creatures, events, and secret locations. But the most important thing that will help us survive is the wreckage of the Titanic. Inside it, there are six different rooms, which are initially blocked by doors. They contain objects that will increase our chances of survival. Will we be able to survive in this dangerous and hardcore world? Well, let's watch. I appeared in the wreckage of the Titanic. Sharks swam around me and apparently hadn't eaten for a long time. However, the shore of some island was visible in the distance, and I decided that now was the best time to go there. My Titanic has gone down, guys. We just need to get to the shore at any cost. Okay, friends, I'm on the shore. Look, we have some kind of huge uninhabited island here. The ship is simply not visible from here because of the storm. First, let's probably get some wood. I gradually began my development in the new place. So far, I didn't really understand what to expect from this survival, but some finds made me tense up a little bit. What is this? Look, there's turtles, some kind of skeleton, an extinguished fire, and a node. Something is wrong in this Bermuda Triangle. I don't know what yet, but I'll definitely find the answer. I wonder if he found it after all. While examining the shore, I noticed a couple of debris on the water and was really hoping to find some useful loot. There's some pelicans here, wow. Look, there's a couple of boxes on the water. I really hope I find something useful there. There's only ammo here, but that's something. And here we have a shovel, some oak, and some kind of bag. Guys, I don't know what awaits us here, but I really like the survival already. In such a storm as you can imagine, it was not really cozy outside. So I decided that on the first day in the Bermuda Triangle, I would make at least some kind of shelter. The coastline of this island was very long with a huge number of palm trees, cacti, and various stones. I thought that it would be a great idea to camp on the beach. Having looked at the palm tree, I decided to make a treehouse instead. As they say, let's start with the walls and then we'll see. We need some more wood. While I'm getting wood, let's think about where I can get some food. Well, first of all, in order to survive on the island, in addition to a place to sleep and a fire, you need food. And so, I found crabs. On the shore, as you can see, there's a lot of crabs. They drop coconut slices and crab meat. I mean, crab claws. And I think that this is the only option that can replenish our hunger at the moment. There's also shells here that can be collected. The day dragged on for a long time. A very long time. In the coming days, I think we'll 100% sail to our Titanic and see if we can find something there. I would also like to take a walk deep into the island, but first I had to explore the shore. And they were dangerous on the shore too. So, calm down, relax. We have a crocodile here. I don't know where the crocodile came from, but I feel like he's not very happy with me. Let's carefully get another tree and return home. Okay, come on, run, 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 run. Almost everything in my house was ready. I made a trap door and waited until the sun melted so that I could place the windows. It's getting dark outside now and it's great for us that we have such a cozy home on the first day. Second day, feel how quiet it is. The storm has finally ended. There was barely a noticeable disturbance on the water, and the birds were still trying to catch something from the ocean. So yeah, it's a new day. Now this I understand, guys. Even the crocodile doesn't seem so scary anymore. I think that our house fits in pretty well, so I'll name the beach in honor of this crab. Crab Beach. In the morning, I decided to harvest the coconuts from the crabs without killing them. I think they'll find new ones. As you can see, I made a boat and on it, I want to try and study the wreckage of our Titanic. Look, there's part one and there's the other one. Don't pay attention to the small FPS because the model is simply huge. Oh look, there's my flag! That's me, John, on it! So, okay, let's try and jump. Great. That's when I learned that these doors don't just open. As you understand, the most important objects in this video are these very wrecks of the Titanic. Namely, the rooms that are located behind these doors. To open them, you need to collect the resources that are indicated on each sign. By opening more and more doors, I'll be able to find more and more things that my team told me will help me get out of this Bermuda Triangle. And we still have doors underwater, look! Everything was clear with the doors. There was no way to open them, so I decided to explore the deck and see maybe if 
I could find some chests there that could be looted. Okay, look, there's a chest here. Oh my god, a crossbow, ammo, arrows, and a whole barrel of carrots. Oh wow, this looks really cool. After looting a couple more boxes, these are the resources I was able to find. And with that, I decided to return home. Titanic, I'll come back to you, bye bye! New day, and you know what? Naturally, there was no rescue in sight, and I think that it would never come. So today, I was going to make a carrot farm, because just yesterday, we found a whole barrel of them. First of all, guys, I need this farm in order to stop getting crabs. The island will soon run out of coconuts. The farm turned out to be quite small, but as you know, you always have to start small. Also, on this day, I wanted to walk the entire line of the coast where my treehouse was, and there were several interesting points. First of all, this is the road into the interior of the island, where we'll go in a couple of days. But what is even more interesting, I noticed a coral reef and immediately decided to swim to it. Look, there's some flying fish over there! Oh my god! God, look at how awesome this coral reef is. Is this a jellyfish or what is that? I, I don't even know. Wait, look, did a seagull just hit me? I, I, this seagull left me on two and a half HP. Look, there's a chest here. Anchor, glass, fish, and rope. Great, let's go up. So it turns out there's still a lot of loot here, guys. Another chest, some kind of flute, and a wrench. Cool. There's also some kind of cave here. Oh, 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 wait, wait, that's a shark. I feel like I'm not gonna go down there yet. It seems that I've looked at everything here. Two boxes. By the way, I'll collect some of these sea cucumbers. They actually provide really good lighting. I think we won't bother with a shark for now. Plus, it's already getting dark. Let's go home and maybe in the future we'll still explore this cave. Day four. The first thing in the morning, I made a spear that could be thrown. And if a tiger attacked me, I would definitely be able to fight back. Before collecting collecting resources in order to open at least one door on our titanic, I wanted to make a little space near our house, making such a fence from predators. A canopy where by the way I'm gonna store wood and all sorts of resources, and definitely make a place for a fire. We're only on day 4 and look at the base that we made right next to the ocean. I'm like Robinson Crusoe, and I really hope someone will save me, but if they don't, we'll somehow save ourselves. I just don't know how yet. Morning of the next day, I really wanted to open at least one door in our titanic. It seemed to me that the lightest door needed only 256 wood to open it. So I made myself a bunch of axes and spent the whole day collecting the wood. Look, it's already evening. This shed I made is just perfect for storing the wood I got. Firstly, it looks really beautiful, and secondly, very practical. Well, today we'll visit the Titanic and find out what is behind one of the doors. I really hope that this will be some kind of really interesting item, because four stacks of wood is... That's a lot of wood. Okay, let's open it. My oak disappeared and look, the door opened. Look, there's a chest here. Underwater mask. I don't even know, I didn't have any expectations, but it looks pretty cool. I'll assume that I can stay underwater longer with this mask. Okay, of course I was expecting a flare, but as you can imagine, these chests could contain anything. We may or may not be lucky. What became much more interesting, after I took the mask and went to the shore, a huge number of some pirates were waiting for me. Okay guys, I don't know what this is, I only have a crossbow and now I'll try very hard to deal with them. So the main thing is that they don't attack our house in any way as in other survivals and only want to attack me. A crossbow is of course good but a pistol will be a lot better. The crossbow is here after all what was that? As a result, these pirate monsters destroyed themselves. It was a really tense moment considering how much HP these monsters left me with. Look, well, this is a really serious request. I thought that there were only crocodiles and seagulls here. This moment showed me that there are other creatures here that will be much more dangerous than animals. The number of monsters that we'll have to meet in the future and the number of secret locations that we'll discover will simply shock you. Before it gets too dark, I decided to go deep into the island. Yes, the heart of the island. What can we encounter in our survival while we're here? First of all, there's a huge amount of bamboo and tall trees. And by the way, there's very cool mod blocks that are crafted from bamboo here, which can be used for construction. But the most interesting are the new species of animals, namely predators, such as tigers and panthers. There's even anacondas here. It's also worth noting that in the jungle, especially in Minecraft, you can find various temples of ancient tribes or some other prehistoric structures. And yes, they are here too. Our task is to explore 
explore all this and not fall into the fangs of a tiger, let's say. Well, I hope luck will be on our side. Here it is, guys, the jungle. And look, and to the left and the right, we have gorillas here. Okay, there's a path here. Maybe we can carefully walk along it. The only thing is that I have no armor, and this scares me a little bit. So wait, I hear a zombie. Where did he even come from? I thought I told you everything about this jungle, but as it turns out, there's jungle zombies as well. I think I'll first go to the right. There's some kind of bridge here. Oh, box? For ammo, cocoa beans, and sticks. Look, there's some kind of waterfall here. That's a really atmospheric and beautiful place though. Wait, wait a minute, I don't understand. Two zombies spawned here, what? These are some kind of jungle zombies. W wait, what is this? They give me poisoning as well as blindness? In the end, I dealt with these two zombies, but inside the waterfall, I noticed something interesting. And of course, guys, there's always something behind a waterfall. It was pretty readable, as in all games. Well, and by the way, that's why I came here. A crowbar, some kind of hat, ancient ink, an iron pickaxe, and some kind of golden chest. So I think I'll put this golden chest somewhere at home, and now since it's already night, we're gonna go there. When I arrived home, I was planning to unpack my things and put my new chest, but what happened to it next really surprised me. So I'll put this chest somewhere here for exa- Oh, wh what? What is this? The chest is gone! Three diamonds? 10 gold, 6 emeralds, and 64 nuggets of iron. It's like a treasure chest, wow! Morning of the next day. Today, believe me, there are a lot of cool locations waiting for you. Because today, I really wanted to explore most of the jungle. The first such location was a cave, or rather a tunnel, that led exactly to the central part of the island. Look, there's coal here, and quite a lot of coal. Considering that there are no caves on this island, it's quite a find. There's also a box here, some kind of knife, and a mask. And can I put this on? Oh! Ho 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 No, I'm some kind of villain now. Wow. Maybe I'll keep wearing it. At least the monsters will think I'm one of them. There was also some iron in the tunnel, and after grabbing it, I left. So wait, what is this? Whoa! It's a treehouse! Guys, we're climbing a treehouse right now. Of course, it's a little cooler than ours, but we'll see. So wait, these seagulls are trying to throw me off the edge again. Why? What happened? You're trying to kill me all this time. Wait, wait, he stole my carrot! He, he actually stole my carrot! I need to call the police right now. Well, okay, let's see what kind of treehouse we have here. There's a box, iron, a figurine, and some garbage. Another mask. And look, some food and more resources. I mean, it's a pretty cool house. Maybe I will make it my second base here, or maybe build something on my own. Uh, another seagull! I, I see you, dude! G get away from me! Uh, okay, whatever, take it, but... Never touch me again, bye. But today's search didn't end here. Some ruins awaited me. The ruins of some ancient tribe. As you understand, you could expect anything there. What is this, guys? Psst. What is this place? Look, there's some kind of ancient ruins. Okay, I hear zombies again. But really, I'm not surprised of hearing them. Okay, stop. This crossbow doesn't really do much damage at all. I would really like a better gun. I'll throw a spear at you. Stay there. Well, I'm guessing these are quite abandoned ruins. So, glass, a quiver, and there's a quiver full of arrows. Look, and I could put it on. Great. There's some vines here that emit some spores or some kind of smoke. I don't know what that is, but do we have some kind of garbage? Although there's an axe and a lasso. We'll take it. Oh, wait! Wait! <laughs> I can catch something like that. I don't know what yet, but I'll definitely keep it. Wait, a revolver or what is it? Oh, guys, this will replace our crossbow. Firstly, it's much easier to run with it. It looks cooler. And I think that our simple ammo will fit in it. And a book with a quill. The ancient ruins of the Zemanian people have stood here for over a thousand years. Wait. Zemanians? Is this some kind of joke where they see that this island was special to them but could never understand why? The Zemanians? Who oh, even thought of this? In addition to the first floor, there was also a second one, where there was a lot of interesting loot. So here there's these swords, always in the walls, and they kind of scare me to be honest. What if some flying shark will jump at me? Yeah, a flying shark. What if something like this actually exists here? I don't know. Of the most interesting things, on the second floor I found a sign or some kind of ruin with a picture of a fish. I took it and left the ruins. Well, for now, let's get out of here as quickly as possible and... 
there's a tiger here. We'll just carefully go in the other direction and get out of here as fast as possible. New day. Our exploration of the jungle was pretty successful, but we shouldn't forget about our main goal. This, of course, is surviving after a sad wreck on the Titanic. Just about it now. I was going to open a new door. The options for collecting the resources were very specific. For example, five rings of the sea. I don't even know what that is. Ten shark teeth, 350 tomatoes, ten flying fish, and... And 32 coconuts. This is what I'm gonna do. Guys, our task for today is to collect 32 coconuts. I think that this won't be very difficult to do. Crap, come on, help me. Why aren't you doing anything? Ah, friends, you always have to rely on yourself. Having collected the required amount of coconuts, I opened the second door and there was something that it would seem couldn't fit into a chest. It was a full-sized raft. Yeah, wait, guys, seriously? Is this what I think it is? It looks like a real raft. Just look. Yes, yeah, seriously, there's a sale and I can just use it. And as it turned out, it had a storage space where I could put a lot, and I mean a lot of resources. There was also a note attached to the raft. Now you can really explore. On the other islands, you can find other plants, dungeons, mobs, and even other crops. Yes, another new chapter in our survival, ocean exploration. As you know, my team takes map development very seriously, and this survival is certainly no exception. We have to explore a huge number of islands, various floating debris, and even visit a lighthouse. It all started with a small island, which I swam to in three minutes after finding the raft. Here it is, look, the first other island of our survival. Let's park somewhere around here. Well, the hello birds. What do you have here on the island? I already see some kind of box. The island was small, but I think it was just right for first exploration. Feathers, coal, and ammo. And look, there's some kind of tent here. I also noticed someone else there. It's some kind of green spider. Hello. I think during the day he won't touch me, but at night I think he'll definitely eat me with pleasure. There's a lot of skunks here. Look, and some kind of tent. There's an axe and a note, by the way. I've made my home on this island. It'll be enough for the first time, but it will not last long. You need to build yourself something stronger. If a hurricane hits, I'll be left without a roof over my head and all of my supplies. After reading the note, all I had to do was explore the last chest and there I found a new cannon. Oh look, a new cannon! It looks amazing! Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. With this, I can at least somehow travel. Okay, it's gonna be night soon. I think I've looked at everything on this entire island and I think it's time to return home. On the new day, the weather clearly worsened. The waves were getting big. Look at how strong the wind is, guys. Wow. Since we have such bad weather today, then of course we will not go out into the ocean under any circumstances. Our raft will simply fall into pieces there. Another thing we have to do is to take care of our home. We just built a fence and didn't do anything else here. You may have noticed that this survival is a physics mod, and I'll tell you that there's more than one. If there's a really strong wind, our carrots may simply fly apart and we'll lose the entire harvest. Let's collect the carrots, guys. My house was only 4x4 four four blocks. This was not enough, so I decided to improve it and move it to a different tree. This is the plan. See this huge palm tree? I'm gonna make a main tree house there and turn the one we have into an extension. Besides, we have bamboo, and in addition to thorns, we can also make a beautiful bridge. As a child, when I lived at the summer house, the boys and I simply loved making summer tree houses. One might even say huts. So I'm very glad that I chose to make a tree house. If this tree house doesn't seem big enough for us, then we can expand it to other palm trees. First of all, I had to get a bunch of wood. I really wish I had a chainsaw right now. After a short break to get extra resources, I finally completed the frame. Now look, for now, they all look like ordinary platforms, but when we build the wall, it'll look completely different. The platform is of course much higher than the previous one. The storm continued during the day while I was building the house, as well as at night. And at night, the storm was so strong that I found puddles all over the shore. And some trees even lost their leaves. Well guys, the ocean isn't calm today. It's good that I don't need to sail to our Titanic today. So let's probably cut down these palm trees that have lost their leaves. Especially since they already look really ugly, so I'll just use it for resources. After some time, the house was ready. Friends, I'm very pleased with the construction. I've already managed to bring resources, decorate, and most importantly, I placed the bed. Besides the house, I had other things to do while the storm was going on. First of all, all this time, I walked around without any armor, except for this cool mask. Okay guys, I don't have much iron, but I have enough stone axes. There's no mines here, so I'll just make myself
myself an iron set. And I'll probably change the mask for a hat, so that there's at least some variety. Because I'm always wearing the same thing, yeah. The next day, the storm ended and the sun came out. I would like to note that our treehouse looked even better in the sun. Today, I was going to go on a new journey to look for new islands. Remember guys, the book said we can find different crops, new mobs, and so on on the other islands. If you remember, on our Titanic, one door cost 300 something tomatoes to open. I think that this note was there for a reason. And our new goal is to find tomatoes to make a farm, grow them, and open the next door in the Titanic. It was difficult to find anything on such a huge map. Sometimes I came across rocks like this, as well as various floating debris, and there were some boxes on it with very interesting loot. But in the end, I still managed to find a really interesting island. It was an island with a volcano. Look at this island! Okay, we park. This island was already much more interesting. Firstly, there was a completely different biome here, which allowed different mobs to spawn. As soon as my foot stepped on the island, everyone pulled up at once. Apparently, these were some kind of fiery zombies. They didn't have much HP. Even though it took me a while, I still managed to deal with them. The second and most interesting item was the ore. At first, I didn't notice it at all, but when I found the first block and looked at the crafts, I was amazed. It could be used to make excellent armor. So even after the the sun came down, I was still mining it. Well, and thirdly, this is the only place where I found lava, and in such quantities. Yeah, guys, if I had a diamond pickaxe, we would have mined obsidian right now, but unfortunately, we have diamonds at home, so the obsidian will have to wait. Well, the cherry on the cake, of course, is the chest on top of the volcano. There's a chest here, on top of the volcano? Okay, look at that ring! Great, let's go! And by the way, to open one of the doors on the Titanic, you need to collect 5 rings. And I think I already have 2 or 3, I'm gonna check. The next day after smelting the ore, I made that really cool armor. It looked awesome. But I was still worried about the issue with the tomatoes. I just had to find them. I spent the next 4 days exploring different islands and trying to find tomatoes. Give or take, all the islands were the same, with the exception of some varieties of mobs, and maybe plants. But there were no tomatoes anywhere. It was only on day 5 that I was finally able to find the island where I found this plant. Tomatoes guys! Oh, we found it! I thought this would never happen again. That's it guys, I've traveled enough to be honest. Now all I want to do is just to make a tomato farm. Carrots, I'm sorry, you're fired. There weren't many tomatoes, but I still had a huge number of bones, so I made a bunch of bone meal and quickly improved the farm. I did it guys, look at how many tomatoes we have. Well, let's take it to the Titanic. What the third door dropped really surprised me. I got scuba gear and most importantly, a note. You probably don't understand why the place you are in is called the Bermuda Triangle. I think the thing in that chest will help you understand this. As soon as I got used to traveling on a raft, a new chapter of the survival began. The underwater world. I don't know the reason why my Titanic sank. I also don't know why the place I'm in is called the Bermuda Triangle. Judging by the note we read just 10 seconds ago, it's time to find out. In fact, there's a huge number of different sunken objects on the map. Starting at airplanes and ending with submarines. And as it turned out, one object was really close to my island. But initially, I didn't even expect this. Well guys, I got the flippers on, the scuba gear is on me, what can I say guys? Right now, we'll look for some place or something underwater and try to dive to check it out. It took me two whole days to find the first underwater dungeon. But I can see with confidence that yes, they exist. Our first underwater sunken dungeon was an airplane. I don't know what happened to it, but today we're gonna loot it and maybe if we get lucky we'll find out some of its history. This is the Bermuda Triangle friends. Look there's seaweed sticking out that's a good sign. Oh look yeah I don't know what is this but it seems to be some kind of piece of a ship. Wait this might be a plane. All right there's a lot of sharks swimming here as you can see as well as all sorts of fish with these octopi. There's even a hammerhead fish here. Look! Okay, I don't know if the guns fire underwater, but it's best to be careful. Four, five, five diamonds, guys! This is really good. Here we can go up to the second floor. Our main task right now is to look for the boxes like this. So far, I don't see any loot that's good. Just a huge amount of all kinds of sea creatures. Alright, we're in the cockpit, guys. Some food, another diamond, and nothing more. Look at how huge that shark is! If you're quiet and don't move really quickly, they won't even get angry. Wait, how much air do I have left? Another 8 minutes! 
great. So, flute, backpack, and a rope. Okay, we'll loot everything later. We already have a flute at home. To be honest, I can't really see anything underwater. Oh, here's another box. Some kind of carbine. Look, and this same chest that we also opened at the beginning of our survival. Controller, we're going down. Third ring. Look, guys, some food and another diamond. And here's the tail of the plane, guys. Okay, I still have air for seven minutes. Let's try to tame this tail. Katana, diamonds, and iron nuggets. So, wait, guys, the shark attacked me. Yo, okay, that, that's a shark. Careful. Sharks get angry very easily. We need to be a lot quieter. All right, here's the safe way out. Advanced ammo and some string. Wait, what are these? Are these killer whales? Look, okay, I hope they're harmless. And we just carefully get out of here as carefully as possible. Let's take off these flippers, yeah, and the scuba gear too. Honestly guys, I was absolutely amazed by this location. It also gave me this effect, it's called the power of the killer whale. And by the way, we found this carbine and it shoots quite well. It got some super ammo, and look, we have a backpack now, and it can be opened somehow, but I have to figure it out. And now, let's just go back home. I was really impressed with my first underwater dive, and it was in a Bermuda Triangle to a drowned plane. Plus, we found an extra ring. Two more of these and we'll be able to open the next door. But as we already understood here, this will not be so easy. Because these locations are not marked on the map in any way. And all we can do is point our fingers at the sky to find such places. On the next day, I decided to take a short break and implement my long-standing idea. All I need to do is go around the entire island and at the same time calculate how much time it's gonna take me. So, it'll start from this line. My first marathon in Minecraft. Okay, let's Let's go! On the way, I saw some crabs, shells, and of course palm trees. At first, everything was completely normal, except that I was now looking at the island from all its sides. But halfway there, I noticed something interesting. Guys, there's a coral reef there, I forgot about it, but I'm not gonna check it out now. Because after all, I wanna find out how long it takes to get around the island. But we'll definitely go there after our calculations are complete. I was able to get around the entire island in 4 minutes and 23 seconds. But I didn't waste any time, I took all the equipment and went straight to the coral reef. My first impression is that this reef is a lot smaller, but I think we can still find something interesting here. Let's swim down, awesome. Look, there's even squid swimming here. <laughs> On this reef, I managed to find another treasure, and there were no sharks at all. This absolutely unusual idea of measuring how long it takes to get around the island can lead you to very interesting events. It's worth noting that I opened absolutely all the doors on the back of my Titanic, but I still haven't checked any of the front doors of the ship. For the first door, 5 rings of the sea were needed, for the second, 10 shark's teeth, and for the third, 10 pieces of flying fish. But guys, I still don't know how to get out of here. 10 pieces of flying fish. I caught them all in one day. In fact, I just had to stand in one spot and hunt right on the reef. And what do we have here? Decorative blocks, cool! Thanks to these blocks, I decorated the base even more, and now it looked absolutely gorgeous. 10 shark teeth, that's gonna be dangerous. I thought it was gonna be more difficult. Having opened the second to last door, I saw a map in the chest. A treasure map. But unfortunately, not something that will help us get out of here. And now guys, that very last moment has come. I opened all the doors on my Titanic except the one. And most likely, whatever will save us is behind that door. But I didn't have the five rings yet. Since I had a treasure map, I decided to follow it. Coordinates and some kind of drawing. Um, okay, I understand. I really hope that you like this video. This isn't 100 days. It's a different format that I'm trying out, and be sure to tell me in the comments what you think about it and what other videos should be shot in this format. I'll be waiting for your comments. And here's the island, guys. Let's look. There was a cross on the map where the treasure was buried. I didn't have any difficulty finding it. Having opened the chest, it contained six treasures. Well, let's go, guys. Let's open all the treasure chests. Wow. I felt that we come a long way to be here today, to survive the wreckage of the Titanic, to settle on an island Island and almost find salvation, but I felt it was somewhere very close. In the coming days, I found another underwater location. It was a sunken satellite dish. I don't know how it ended up here, but okay, it looks quite interesting. Let's take a look at what Chester's here. Hopefully something of value. Of course, the resources I found there were quite valuable, but I was looking for a ring, and the ring wasn't there. Returning home, I realized that from our island, I had not sailed only in one direction. Early in the morning, I set off, and even then, I didn't know that this could become our final adventure. 
I would call it the radiation zone. Just think about how much there can be in the Bermuda Triangle. We ended up at the radiation islands with a very mysterious lighthouse. Look guys, what is that lighthouse? Okay, there's various monsters here and basically on all the islands. The closest island for us is this one, so I think we'll park here now. Whoa, 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 what the f what was that? Okay, uh, uh, don't touch my raft, please. Don't touch my raft. No, no, no. He's about to break it. Oh, that's it, guys. What was that? The raft only has one HP left. What is this? Wait, level two radiation is hitting me. Oh, oh, wait, we need to get out of the water. All right, guys, it's better not to go into the water. Oh, let's see what we have here. Oh, a gun. Wait a minute, and two stacks of ammo. Nice. Oh, wow. This gun looks really, really cool. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. Wow, I left the blocks in the raft. It's better for us not to touch the water, so we'll just jump and sit on a raft like this. Let's go to this island. I see that some strange monster is already waiting for us. Wait, no! He broke my raft again! Oh my god! I'll take revenge on you from my raft! No, my raft! Wait, no guys, no! You will not destroy me in any way! Now I've ruined your radiation islands. Okay, there's one more left, guys. There's one more left. And I'm and I'm out of ammunition. I don't know what to shoot it with. Alright, guys. Wow, level 47. That's crazy. I think it's time to go to this lighthouse. Let's try to loot it. In general, the location is really cool. I have to collect some boards and make myself a boat, though. The guests are already waiting for me near the lighthouse, but we're absolutely not afraid of them. Not counting the fact that I've been basically run out of ammo. That's it guys, half the clip is gone and the ammo for this gun is already running out. Guys, we're officially out of ammo, so we'll just go with a katana. Okay, okay, let's go. That's it, that's it guys. So there's ammo here and some new gun, nice. Let's climb into the lighthouse. Wait, what? There's a submarine still here? Oh, get off me! But there wasn't just a lighthouse, but also a sunken submarine. I spent a little time on this because after all, it was small and I even found two treasures. Another gun? How many guns did they put here? Why didn't I find this location earlier? But to be honest, if I found this location earlier, I probably would have just died. Oh, never mind. It's a flamethrower. I don't know how long the lighthouse is, but I'm already really tired of climbing. Okay, I'm on top. The ring and a note. Let's go. Why is everything surrounded by radiation how do i know who's asking me these questions that's it guys we found the last ring in order to open the last door on our titanic we've lost the raft but we have a boat on which we'll now go home and open this very door let's go returning back home i collected all the rings and went to my titanic well guys we've been waiting for this moment for a very long time let's open this door let's go here it is friends the chest I really hope there's something good here. A helicopter? What? And a note? I don't know if you've opened all the doors, Zeman, but this is the door with which you can get out of here. This is exactly what this helicopter is for. Good luck. Without thinking twice, I went home to look at the base that we built throughout this video. It looked gorgeous. Who knows, maybe someone will be drawn into the Bermuda Triangle just like me. And this base will definitely come in handy for them. I boarded the helicopter and flew in one direction. After a long time, I finally saw land. This challenge has been completed. Thanks for watching guys and also a big thanks to my team who prepared this survival. Watch my other videos and bye bye.